Hello, my name is Ashley Mintz and I'm doing this collage video in partnership with NPL or Nashville Public Library for their Arttober program. And I wanted to start the video by showing you what you can use. Um, some of these supplies might be things that you already have around your house. So I've got a piece of mixed media paper here. Um, you can also use watercolor paper or even pages from an old book. They usually hold up pretty well with collage pieces. So you need your surface. And then I've got tacky glue here. You can also use like typical school glue, like Elmer's glue, but I usually like to use tacky glue. You can find it um, at any store if you are able to get out and get any. Um, and then, of course, you'll need scissors to cut all the pieces of paper and other materials. Here I've got some markers. Um, they're all permanent markers, and I've got like a paint marker here and then a gel pen. But you just want different colors of markers and or pens um, so that you can write and like doodle on the collage piece. Then I've got some collage paper. Um, these are just some random papers that I had laying around from other projects that I did. And then I've also got lace here. Um, it's like different textures of lace. And I've got some different colors too that I painted on. But those add good texture to the piece, the collage piece. And then here, um, I use paint brushes to spread the glue sometimes. Um, and then if you just put it in water after you use it, it usually gets it off pretty easily. You can also use, um, like sometimes I'll, I like to cut up thick pieces of cardboard and then use little pieces to spread the glue. And I'll show you how to do that in the video. Um, but usually I like to use paintbrushes as well. And then I've got an old book and different magazines. Um, for the old book, I like to tear out and cut out the old pages. And then these magazines can be found at like bookstores, cafes, different places like that. And you can just grab them for free. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The main things that you want to make sure that you have are a piece of paper, scissors, glue, and any kind of scrap papers. If you're able to get magazines and or old books and then other materials like lace and twine, that's really great. Um, but the basics are paper, scissors, glue, and scrap papers. And so once you've got everything, we can go ahead and get started. So here I'm starting with a piece of poster board and I've got some magazines. Now I've already cut out my pieces, but I just wanted to show you kind of my process. So I just will go through magazines and start cutting out pieces that appeal to me, even words as well. And these kind of magazines are really easy to find at different stores or like bookstores, maybe coffee shops. They've got a lot of these local magazines. And then I also take old books and we'll tear out pages, kind of cut around the edges and then use pages as backgrounds or as part of the collage piece. And so this is my little stash of things that I've already cut up. Um, I've got the old book pages there. And I'm just going to start setting things out on the, the big piece of paper just to kind of see how I might do the background. And a lot of this is mixed media paper and you can see I've got part of a map. You can find that kind of stuff at any art store. So I think that this might look better turned sideways. And so once you kind of have an idea of where you want everything, you can start gluing. And if you don't have a paintbrush to spread the glue, you can use cardboard or just any thick paper. And I'll show you how I use that to spread the glue. I just will cut like a cardboard piece into little pieces and then use it to spread it out. That usually works if you don't have a paintbrush or anything else to spread it with. And so with collage, a lot of it is just kind of eyeballing it, seeing what looks good. 
Um, you, you want to avoid like a cluttered look, but for the most part, you're just using paper and different materials and kind of intuitively spreading them out and placing them on your paper or whatever you are doing your collage on. So I'm using a brush here to spread the glue. And I'm trying to get the poster board covered. And I've also got this Liquitex. Um, it's like a gloss varnish. I've got two different kinds, but they're very similar. But it's nice to use this for thin paper. Um, it, it works as a good adhesive. And you can kind of move it around easily, move the paper around easily. And I always recommend having it underneath the page. So on the support paper, but underneath the paper that you're trying to glue down and then also pouring more over it. But it works really well if you have thin paper. And if you don't happen to have any lying around or you can't get any, glue still works perfectly. And so right here, I am just filling out where to put everything. I'm trying to even out the color scheme as well. I'm trying to balance where I have light and dark colors. And these colors are all pretty earthy and they're all kind of similar anyways. But you always want to try to balance out where you place everything and make sure you don't have too many light colors on one side and too many dark on the other. And through the process, you might find yourself cutting some papers down. That's a big part of it. Um, a lot of my paper is overlapping. Like a lot of my pieces are overlapping each other. And I like for it to do that. But if you don't want any kind of overlap, you can always just cut your pieces before gluing them down. So after I've got my background, I'm going to gather my pieces and then I'm going to let it dry for maybe 15 to 20 minutes. So after your background is dry, you want to start gathering your other pieces for the next layer and just start placing them onto the background. Um, not gluing them yet, but just kind of placing them where you think you might want them to go. And for the theme, I decided to do it along the lines of everything going on. So the idea of going virtual. Um, so I'm gonna have a girl with headphones and her headphones are gonna be connected to a computer. And so I'm just kind of figuring out where to place everything And when you finally do glue things down, they might not be in the exact spot where you place them and that's okay. You just wanna get a general idea of where things will go so that things don't look so cluttered. And so that things look connected. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing things down piece by piece. So here I've got what is in my mind a computer 
So I've got the keyboard glued down. I'm gonna start doing parts of the monitor. And I like using pieces that don't look exactly like what I want it to be. So like for the monitor, I cut out a picture of a building from a magazine. And right here, I am using yarn to make it look like a cord connecting the keyboard to the monitor of the computer. And then here I've got a piece of twine, which I'm gonna be using to connect the headphones to the computer monitor. So I'm just gonna keep gluing layer by layer, piece by piece. You wanna press down, especially when there are several pieces of paper on top of each other. You wanna make sure that it gets push down really well so it stays in place. And I used book pages to cut out feet for this girl. I thought it would look kind of cool. And I'm trying to get it onto a piece of the paper where the colors won't blend in because the color of her feet kind of are similar to a piece of the background. So you wanna keep that in mind too. You want to have colors on top of other colors that won't blend. So I've got her cool green pants. And then her shirt. And the fun thing about collage is that you can cut different parts of clothing or faces from magazines. And it makes it look pretty interesting. Um, I did choose some really big eyes for this girl to put on top of her actual eyes. And so it might look kind of crazy, but but I actually like when art is like that. And I've seen a lot of collage where certain body parts or pieces are out of proportion with each other. Like someone might have a huge body, but a small head and vice versa. So I think that makes the art look more interesting. So now I'm doing the headphones and I've just realized that the twine is not long enough to reach to the headphones. So that just means that I put the pieces a little further than I had originally placed them, which is fine. I just was able to add on an extra little piece. It wasn't that much. And then I'm continuing on with the layering and adding more pieces. And I've got a hand. And then now I'm going to place her arm. And for the arm, it really took a lot of cutting to kind of figure out where it would fit well. 
And then now for her eyes. Her humongous eyes, which will go over the headphones. <laughs> but I really like art like this. It looks kind of out of place, out of proportion, but it just makes it more interesting. And then now on the monitor, I'm going to add some words that I have become accustomed to in the last few months since we are virtual. I've had to do panels and interviews over the internet. So I think that's very fitting for the, the times that we are in now. And I'm just adding a few more words like virtual, connection, Network, there's a lot of that going on, a lot of networking. And then this last piece says, take a look. Well, the last word piece. And I've got some space on the bottom right corner. Um, there's a lot of white space. So I actually am taking similar material from what I use from her pants. And then also from the headphones and I'm just gonna layer them over each other. So it kind of balances the color scheme and it also clears up a lot of that white space. And now with the marker, I am filling in her toenails and I'm also gonna write some words. Um, I'm just gonna write connect a few different times um, with different color markers. And this is the finished product. Thank you so much for stopping by, for watching the video and for following along. And hopefully this gave you something to do while staying at home. And this is where you can find me if you would like to see more of my work. Hey, so I just wanted to say thank you for sticking around and following along with the collage video. Of course, this is the final piece. And you can always add on to your piece. Um, you can kind of look at it and see what else might go along with it and just add on as you like. And um, if you want to see more of my work, my website is www.ashleymintz.weebly.com. So that's A-S-H-L-E-Y-M-I-N-T-Z dot W-E-E-B-L-Y dot com. And thanks again. Hope you had fun.